welcome to the historic Entertainment Weekly reunion of My Best Friend's Wedding. You thought it would never happen. All right, this is a special My Best Friend's Wedding edition of what we like to call the Kegel exercise. Just fill in the blank, all right? The first word that comes to mind when I hear my best friend's wedding is? <laughs> is it a quiz? Joy? It's like a quiz. Joy? It's like a quiz. Chicago. Chicago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Summer. Summer. LSD, baby, LSD. What does that mean? Well, Lakeshore Drive. Lakeshore Drive. Uh, yeah. I was like, wow. <laughs> For each of you, my own go-to karaoke song is? We did. We did. Summer Lovers. Um, yeah. Yeah. This was when we were prepping for the movie, and we were in, sh in Chicago, and uh, we went to an actual karaoke joint. I'd never done karaoke before. You seem to have had some experience. No, well, thank you for noticing <coughs> that I so had So skillful. I had warmed up my instrument in the bathroom. That night. But we were using, um, we were using um, aliases because yes. we didn't want our name, you know, because We didn't Dermot. want someone to say yeah. Dermot and Julia to the stage. So we Who had were the name, names? Um, I was Tom and she was Nicole, which at the time was funny, you know, because it was about 22 years ago, and if you know what I mean, Tom and Nicole, I mean, I don't have to explain it. I don't think you, you know, should. But half of the people won't even know who we're talking about. Oh, they know who you're talking about. Okay, I'm talking about Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Cameron, a go-to karaoke song? I've been completely terrorized and traumatized by karaoke. That so was it would never because happen. Of the movie. Because in the movie, no, actually, you know, the thing is, is that I've actually tried to overcome that because it was a real fear. I was traumatized. I cried really hard. It was, Dermot got me through that on so many levels. I couldn't even, I was like, like sweating and crying. And now I just get up there and I really commit. I don't know what songs I'm singing because I always forget every word, no matter if I know every word, so I always forget. And then I go and I sit down and I weep. What I remember about Rupert Everett on the set of My Best Friend's Wedding is... Well... Laughter. Yes, like literally he would show up and then everything would begin. Yeah. Like he just infused everything with more funny and more yeah. like delight and more, just more better. What I remember about Cameron Diaz on the set of My Best Friend's Wedding is... I was so young and green. Amazing. <laughs> I remember you in that yellow little shift dress in the airport. Yes. So sweet and innocent, and I had come to kill her. <laughs> what I remember about Dermot Mulroney on the set of My Best Friend's Wedding is... Ugh. That your dog could climb a tree. Yeah, Earl. Earl, oh, yeah. I remember Tree climbing dog, I know. Oh. Attacked everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he did have a, like an anti human problem. I love yeah, good dog. He farted a lot too. What I remember about Julia Roberts on the set of My Best Friend's Wedding is. Plotting, maniacal, <laughs> nightmares, impossible to deal with. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh, two or three pairs of sunglasses and two or three inches of tummy. <laughs> That's what I remember. Oh, you have, like... Oh, my short top. Yeah, that short oh. top, it, it, you know, it made us all famous. 90s, baby. <laughs> That's 90s. what I mean. Original midriff bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I think today, my character would be... What would George be doing? Rupert. Well, we were talking about this today, mm -hmm. uh, in case uh, we ever did a My Best Friend's Wedding too, and I think George works in a mortician's uh, <laughs> office in Fairfax. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a chief mortician. I what think, about Kimmy? I think Kimmy's probably suffering from empty nest syndrome, you know? I think her kids have just Michael left Michael plays them. a lot of golf. You know, Michael plays a lot of <laughs> golf. She's kind of like looking for her new purpose, you know? She's been very involved in the kids' school for a long time, and now and they're- suddenly they're alone you know, in the house now together. Now they're like, oh, you know, they have to rediscover romance. <laughs> <laughs> this thing writes itself. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about Jules? I think Jules is a marriage counselor. Oh, <laughs> you're perfect. Perfect. No longer those, a restaurant those critic. Who can't right. Teach. Yeah, right. Right, no, that's good. The most surprising thing about reuniting for today's photo shoot is Beautiful. Beautiful. That no time has passed. No, yeah. it's incredible. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Isn't that it's really changed? No, it's true. It's correct. No, I actually 
unfortunately caught Rupert with his pants off. Oh, <laughs> unfortunately? Oh, I'm just saying I wouldn't, I didn't, it wasn't intentionally. I, yeah. Accidentally yeah. is what you mean. And the, my glance said no time had passed. <laughs>